Welcome to Chichester Harbour. These 74 kilometres squared were designated as an area of natural beauty back in 1964 and it's easy to see why. I'm here on the southeast coast of England exploring the waterways and coastline of Hampshire and West Sussex known as Chichester Harbour. We're going to take a super speedy look at some of the beautiful harbourside villages here, the top things to do and a few good places to eat too. Starting at one of the best beaches in England, West Wittering. I've picked up a pastry and a coffee from nearby coffee shop The Landing and I'm determined to enjoy it surrounded by these beach huts. West Wittering is one of the most popular beaches on the whole of the southeast coast and here it is in all its sandy glory. This is one of the best beaches for families because at low tide it goes all the way out creating lots of lovely little splash pools for the kids to play in. It's also a great place for all of my favourite sports, paddleboarding. East Head is an easy walk from West Wittering and on a summer's day it's a little bit quieter than this beach although come on a grey day like this and you'll have enough of the beach to yourself. I'm walking down to the Itchen Ferry which you can catch over to Bosham, which is one of the prettiest villages in the Chichester Harbour. Chichester Harbour is internationally important for its coastal birds and rare habitats. The harbour's mudflats, salt marsh, sand and shingle are home to a huge variety of plants and animals just read that off this handy sign. So we started in West Wittering there and then walked around to East Head there then you can come back to West Wittering and this is a really nice walk along here but I have driven today up to Itchna which is where I am now. This is where you can get the Chichester Harbour tours from. They do tours out to see the seals and all kinds of wildlife. Right, a little walk around Ishna and then I think it's time to go and check out Chichester Marina. Let's go to Del Key. The Crown and Anchor pub is the hotspot here, but good luck getting a table on a sunny weekend. This area, interestingly, is called the Manhood Peninsula. Just a 10 minute drive away and you're in Bosom and it's lovely Bosom Quay. Next up, and we're in Bosom, not Bosham, as the train people always call it. Bosom, as the locals say. Visit here and you can have a little wander around, admire the Bosom church, and go to the little cafes, the shops, and art galleries. Also, notice something very strange about the little doors. The next destination on our Chichester Harbour tour is Chidham. Today I have been driving, but this is one of the best parts of Chichester Harbour to explore by bike. The best way to explore Chidham is to do the 8km Chidham Peninsula Coastal Circular Loop and you'll see some amazing views. Next place of interest in Chichester Harbour is Thorny Island. Click here to check out our video on everything you need to know about walking around it. This is Ministry of Defence property, but the coast is open to all. I love this walk, so peaceful and you can't really go wrong with the route. There's also a beautiful white beach just over halfway round. At the west of Chichester Harbour is Hailing Island. The north and south of the west coast provide two great spots to enjoy the lovely harbour views from a different perspective. The Ship Inn is one of the most popular spots for water sports to dock, and so you can have a drink. Emsworth is a lovely little town. The best way to enjoy it is with a coffee, sat outside one of the cafes, just people watching and enjoying the view. There's a lovely high street here and a lively community spirit. Thanks for watching our guide to Chichester Harbour. Hope you've enjoyed learning about the area. Please subscribe for more fun days out in England and let us know if you've got a favourite spot in Chichester Harbour in the comments below.